Welcome back everybody. Today's adventure, we are heading downtown again. Uh, we're going to go downtown to the uh, Canal Walk, Indianapolis Canal Walk. And I will show you that. Right now, currently, we are heading northbound on Meridian Street. And as you just seen, the speed limit is 45 miles an hour, which the 50cc scooter cannot keep up with. So I'm just staying as far to the right as possible. Usually there's stoplights anyway that uh, people don't get real, real far. But if you time it right, you never hit a stoplight. And I think the perfect speed is 35 miles an hour. So that's today's plan, is to go to the Indy Canal Walk. And there's a couple restaurants there I might uh, eat lunch at. One of them is an Italian restaurant in uh, the front of the Cosmopolitan. And another one is called the Burger House. So we're gonna go down there and walk around and see what it's all about. You probably can't see the city skyline on this GoPro camera, but you can see the tallest buildings above the tree line straight ahead of us. I'm going to try to park the scooter at the uh, Indiana State Museum down there. I did that one time trying to go to an Indians game, and uh, and I uh, did that one time at an Indians game. <laughs> And, uh, and there was a security guy there with a yellow jacket because I was going to park at the, the museum and walk over to the Indians game one day and he was like, no, you can't park your scooter here. So I said, all right, man, whatever. So we're going to go down there and try to park it at the bike rack that I normally always park it at. That was the first time that I've ever uh, had a security guy tell me that I couldn't park it there. Yeah, it'll be uh, should be a fun little adventure. They got uh, the canal is really cool. I think you can rent paddle boats there, and uh, it's a good place to you know. A lot of people go there to exercise. A lot of people go there when they want a romantic date to walk with their girl around the canal walk. I'll go down there and we'll check it out for you. I actually like this route though because you, it goes from four lanes and so the other drivers have the option to go around you. And then even up in here it's down to two lanes but uh, there's a lot of school zones and I think, I can't remember what the speed limit is. It's either 35 or 40 through here. I was thinking it was 35. So at that speed limit that's the perfect speed for the 50 cc. Now we are on the near south side of Indianapolis. It's not really that long of a uh, ride from Greenwood. Even at 35 mi miles an hour, it only takes me like 20 minutes. Especially going in a straight, uh, straight line like going up Meridian Street here. I don't know if you can see it, the city is straight ahead of us. perfect for scooter riding.
Indianapolis Indians are at home tonight. I think they might have the firefighters convention going on this week. That's my guess. I gotta stand up, stretch my back. Look at that, $8 to park. Zero to eight hours, $8 to park. So I'm just gonna park it right here at the bike rack like I always do. Try to make this quick and painless. So no one says anything to me. Hmm. And just like that, I just park it right there at the museum we're gonna go down here and check out the canal wow there's a bunch of people down here today the indy canal walk Art underneath these bridges is pretty cool, man. This is what I love. They have these uh, apartments and condos you can buy. It's like, how cool would that be to sit up there on your balcony overlooking the canal? Gondolas. Like, those are awesome. I would love to live in one of those. Yeah, but if you're ever in Indianapolis and you get a chance, uh, come down to the canal walk it goes on forever I'm not sure how long it is exactly I just went past the cosmopolitan and the Italian cafe so I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat there or if I'm gonna go up here to the Brigga house this is the USS Indianapolis War Memorial Here's the names of all the sailors that died. And here is where it ends, and then it goes all the way back out to the White River State Park, which will probably go that back that way and uh, show you that part of the canal walk too.
There's the burger house. These people got patios right outside the Honda Canal here. I'm gonna have to Google these and see how much these go for. They cannot be cheap. Show this to you too. They've made all these uh, trails around the city. Like this one's called the Cultural Trail. And. Uh, Oh, that's pretty cool, especially because if, even if you don't have a bike down here, you can rent one of their pay-as-you-go bikes. And, uh, yeah, and then you can take this trail if you want to. I think we want to stick the canal, though. But I just jumped up here to show you that real quick. Not sure the exact distance of the canal walk. It's got to be a couple miles, at least a mile or two. As you can imagine, in the fall time, it's really beautiful when the trees all turn. Indiana Historical Society. That's one place I have yet to check out. Maybe we'll do that soon. A memorial to all the people who have earned the Medal of Honor and it goes on for quite a ways here these are Indiana people obviously just trying to show you guys the complete the complete trail here this over here is the uh, White River State Park and you can take the walking bridge over there over to the zoo but I'll walk down here and go to this little waterfall here and the overlook of the river Here's a little cool plaque for you real quick. Here's to the cabin of John McCormick, one of the first settlers in central Indiana, the commissioners appointed by the legislator to select a site for the permanent seat of the government of the state of Indiana met in this cabin on the 7th of June, 1820, and decided upon the location for the town afterwards named Indianapolis. All right, well, that was fun. I. Uh... Ugh, decided not to eat down there on the canal. I'm gonna find a place in Greenwood and go there for lunch. But uh, if you're ever in Indianapolis, definitely do check out the Indianapolis Canal Walk. It was an awesome place to go. Almost makes me wish I had a girlfriend. Almost. And on that note, I think I will close out Today's scooter adventure right here, people. Thanks for watching.